Would you believe me if I said that your electric car can be fully charged in 18 seconds? Well, the latest research results of the power battery are exposed, it only takes 18 seconds to fully charge. The cost is only one-sixth of the mainstream lithium-ion battery, and related papers have been published in the journal Nature. This kind of battery can be used normally at low temperature and stable at high temperature. One of the professors responsible for this patented technology has established a battery company and obtained the patent authorization. The company has raised $8.1 million to date. It is worth mentioning that scholars from Chinese universities, including Peking University, are also members of the research team for this breakthrough. Then, the remaining question is, will this fast charging, lower cost, and safer battery affect the current pattern of power batteries? How does it work? Hi! Welcome to Auto Age, now you are on the journey to look back at every change in the car, witness every surge in speed, and explore the mystery behind the car. Before we started today's video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Ok, let's get started. First, what kind of battery is this? According to the research results, the cost of this bidirectional, fast-charging aluminum chalcogen battery is as low as $8.99 per kilowatt-hour, which is 12% to 16% of the current cost of lithium-ion batteries. It does not require an additional active cooling system, it also avoids thermal runaway and prevents fires, and there is almost no dendrite formation, thereby preventing short-circuiting of the battery. How is that possible? How does it work? First, raw materials for new batteries are abundant and cheap. The new battery cathode is made of chalcogen elements, such as sulfur and selenium. The negative electrode is aluminum, and the electrolyte is molten chloroaluminate composed of NaCl KCl OlCl3. Aluminum is known to be the most abundant metallic element on Earth. At the same time, Elemental sulfur, NaCl, KCl, and AlCl3 are also common chemical substances. And this study shows that even if low-quality aluminum such as aluminum foil for food packaging is used to make the negative electrode, it will not affect the performance of the battery. These factors have greatly reduced battery costs. Secondly, the eutectic point of the alkali metal chloroaluminate melt as the electrolyte is much lower than that of the general molten salt system, about 93 degrees centigrade. This ensures that the battery can operate at temperatures as low as 110 degrees centigrade, while remaining self-heating during use, maintaining its own temperature with proper insulation. This means no active cooling system is required. Due to thermal effects, General lithium-ion batteries require a cooling system to keep the battery at an optimal operating temperature and improve efficiency. At the same time, even if the temperature exceeds 500 degrees centigrade, the molten salt electrolyte is still thermally stable and non-volatile, and will not vaporize at high temperatures, causing the battery to explode or catch fire. Moreover, molten salt electrolyte has another benefit besides its low melting point preventing battery short circuit. Most importantly, this new battery has good cycle stability, so it can be charged quickly. How is this possible? The paper published in Nature mainly demonstrates the performance of aluminum-selenium batteries and aluminum-sulfur batteries. Experiments have shown that in the NaCl OlCl3 electrolyte, melting point about 115 degrees centigrade, the discharge reaction of the ULSA battery is smooth even at 180 degrees centigrade, with an average voltage of about 0.88 V. At the same time, when the discharge time is shortened to 5 hours or fully charged in 2 hours, the ULSA battery has no voltage decay after 50 cycles, and the battery capacity can be maintained at 300 mAh per G. When the full charge time is shortened to 18 seconds, the capacity of the ULSA battery remains at 75 mAh per G. As a comparison, for general aluminum metal electrodes, when the full charge time is shortened to 6 minutes or less, the battery capacity is already close to zero. 
The researchers also changed the charging rate and found that the reversible capacity of the ULSA battery was 520 mAh per G when the full charge time was 2 hours, C2, 190 mAh per G in 6 minutes, 75 mAh per G in 18 seconds. For an aluminum sulfur battery, the battery capacity is 525 mAh per G at an operating temperature of 110 degrees centigrade. In addition, when the discharge time is constant at 2 hours, even if the charging rate of the aluminum sulfur battery is increased and the full charge time is shortened to 6 minutes, the battery capacity can still be maintained at 500 mAh per G. When the full charge time is shortened to 18 seconds, the capacity of the aluminum sulfur battery remains at 210 mAh per G. In contrast, the full charge time of general batteries is shortened to 72 seconds, and the battery capacity is close to zero after the temperature rises. Moreover, under the cycle scheme set in the paper, the aluminum sulfur battery can maintain hundreds of cycles at a high charge rate, full charge time is 6 to 12 minutes, and an ultra-high charge rate, full charge time is 36 to 72 seconds. In addition, this new type of battery is easier to charge than discharge to achieve higher performance. This paper is mainly completed by the team of Peking University and the Sadoe Research Group of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Researchers also come from Wuhan University of Technology, Yunnan University, University of Louisville, University of Waterloo, Argonne National Laboratory and other research institutions. Donald Sadoway is a professor in the Department of Materials Science and Engineering at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. His research focuses on electrochemistry in non-aqueous media, including molten salts, physical chemistry and electrochemistry of low-temperature electrolytes. In 2020, Sadoway received seed funding from the MIT Energy Initiative. In 2022, Sadoway won the European Inventor Award for his liquid metal battery. And, Sadoway and Luis Ortiz co-founded Avanti, a battery startup, with Sadoway serving as chief scientific advisor. The company has been granted a patent for this aluminum chalcogen battery thesis research. In April last year, the company completed Series A financing with a financing amount of 8.1 million US dollars. Investment companies include Bill Gates Breakthrough Energy and AnyNext, the venture capital subsidiary of Any Group, one of the world's seven largest oil conglomerates. Sadoway said the company's priority now is to demonstrate that the aluminum chalcogenide battery can operate at scale, followed by a series of stress tests, including running hundreds of charge cycles. In addition to being used as a power battery, Smaller-scale aluminum chalcogenide batteries can also be used for electric vehicle charging piles, reducing construction costs and increasing charging speed. And this kind of battery can also power a single home or small and medium-sized business, with a storage capacity of about tens of kilowatt-hours. Sadoway said the point of the research paper is to remind people, if you are willing to invest time and money, there are better, cheaper and safer technologies than lithium-ion batteries that can be researched. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.